We're out here today trying to finish up some planting and planter technology has really changed what we can do out here. Here we're in a lot of heavy corn stalk residue here today and we got to get through this here and get ourselves planted. This used to be the work of the coulter and you had that debate, what coulter do I use? How do I get sliced through there without pinning? And I need the coulter to do some tillage so my disc openers can go through. And that whole challenge, am I in sand, am I in clay? Today's row cleaners have made the coulter almost obsolete in no-till because we can apply downforce with that row cleaner using depth bend wheels and downforce pressure, whether air or hydraulics, and we can let the row cleaner do the tillage stick those tines in the ground, let them shred that soil and loosen it up at the same time, push the residue out of the way. But by controlling depth, we don't move soil, just residue. And we stay sensitive to the soil, not setting the depth by the row unit in the back. We're setting it with the row cleaner itself and the depth band wheels. That allows us to open this up. We've got a lot of trash here. We've got some combine track here as well. That used to be the work of the coulter. Today's row cleaners can take that out. We're testing a couple different row cleaners here today. Both of them doing a fantastic job. So here we're looking at narrow row beans that we're planting here today. In this row, I just have my coulter running and the coulter has cut through the residue and it's done some tillage for my disc opener to go into. But over here, I have no coulter, just have my row cleaners, depth band wheels, and I'm running about 65 pounds down force. And the row cleaners have moved all the residue out of the way without moving soil. That's the advantage of the depth band wheels to keep tight to the ground, but don't go too deep. All the tillage then has been done in here with the row cleaner. So as I look through here, I can see I've got all this area tilled nicely and a situation where it's a nice seabed to stick those beans into. Where on this side over here, I've got the colder in here and I've done my tillage and I've got it pretty good shape, but to realize that I didn't do near the tillage over here, as I did here to get that seed bed that I want to put that soybean into. Again, all new technology has really moved the planter along.